Welcome to the Health Bulletin. We bring you a concerning development in global health. Recent studies have revealed a startling increase in fungal infections worldwide. According to the study published in Lancet Infectious Diseases by the University of Manchester, fungal infection have doubled over the past decade. This has resulted in an estimated 3.8 million deaths annually, accounting for about 6.8% of global deaths. Many of these people die because their doctor does not recognize that they have fungal disease or they recognize it too late. The study emphasizes the gaps in diagnosing fungal diseases. Despite advances in diagnostics, access and utilization of these tests are limited, and particularly in low-income countries. Additionally, there is a lack of adequate diagnostic testing and a shortage of effective antifungal drugs. The study also highlights the escalating issue of antifungal resistance, paralleling the well-known challenge of antibiotic resistance, further complicating the treatment of fungal infections, which is also linked to the use of excessive fungicides in agriculture. This resistance poses a challenge to treating fungal infections effectively. Candida infections leading to sepsis and often associated with diabetes and renal failure have become increasingly dangerous because such patients have relatively low immunity. More than 1.5 million people worldwide are affected by serious candida infections alone, causing nearly 1 million deaths each year. Current diagnostic tests can only detect 40% of these life-threatening infections. The COVID-19 pandemic has exacerbated the situation, with a notable increase in cases of mucomycosis, or black fungus, especially in India. This fungus causing tissue death led to over 51,000 reported cases during the pandemic. Factors like excessive steroid use and uncontrolled diabetes contributed to this trend. Moreover, it's evident that a significant number of these deaths can be attributed to delayed or non-existent diagnostic testing with the scarcity of effective medications. This, along with other fungal diseases like Aspergillus and Candida infections, suggests that the actual infection rates could be higher than reported. Experts are particularly concerned about dual threat scenarios, where fungal infections coincide with respiratory viruses like influenza, significantly increasing mortality risks. This serves as a continuous reminder of the persistent threat posed by fungal diseases. Fungal diseases are here to stay. We are surrounded by them, and they live in our guts and on our skin. There are no vaccines for fungi. The need for improved diagnostic methods and increased public awareness about this issue is unmistakably urgent. Stay tuned for more health news and updates, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. For the latest in medical breakthroughs and health alerts, thank you for watching.